Marvelous Munch, a Robert Munch collection. Give me back my dad. <laughs> One day, Chero and her father decided to go ice fishing. They got on the snowmobile, put all their stuff in the sled on the back, and went bouncing over the bumps and across lakes until they came to a very good place to fish. This place, said Cheryl's father, is the best place to fish in the whole world. But the fish are smart. You've got to be really smart to catch these fish. Phooey, said Cheryl. I'm smarter than any fish. So her father got out an ice drill and drilled an enormous hole. They chopped the ice and drilled some more. And when they were done, wow, said Cheryl's father. Really thick ice. Now we can fish. He got out a hook and line and bait and said to Cheryl, you fish down this hole, but be very careful because these fish are smart. Phooey, said Cheryl. I'm smarter than any fish. She jigged her line up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and said, I want to catch a fish. Be patient, said her dad. So Cheryl jigged her line up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and said, I want to catch a fish. Then up out of the hole came a candy bar with a line on it. Look at that, said Cheryl. It's a candy bar. Her father yelled, don't touch that. But Cheryl grabbed the candy bar and was pulled right down underneath the ice. Cheryl's father yelled down the hole, Give me back my baby! A big fish stuck its head out of the water and said, We caught this kid fair and square. You can't have her back. Grrr, said Cheryl's father. Cheryl's father got an idea. He put a very small piece of bait on the line and jigged it up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. And all of a sudden, he pulled a very small baby fish. The big fish stuck its head out of the water and said, Give me back my baby. Well, said Cheryl's father, I'll give you back your baby if you will give me back my baby. Grrr, said the big fish. Cheryl's father tossed the little fish back and Cheryl came flying up out of the hole. She said, Brrr, it's cold. And right away she started turning into an icicle. Her father picked her up, ran to shore and got a fire going in the Labrador tent. Soon Cheryl was warm and dry, like a piece of toast. Now, said her father, we're going back out there. Don't pick up anything that the fish throw out of the hole. These are smart fish. Right, said Cheryl. They went back out and Cheryl jigged her line. Up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. And said, I want to catch a fish. A candy bar with a line on it came up out of the hole. Oh no, said Cheryl, I'm not that dumb. She jigged her line up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and said, I want to catch a fish. Up came a bag of popcorn with a line on it. Cheryl said, oh no, I'm not that dumb. She jigged her line up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and said, I want to catch a fish. Then up came a television. Wow, said Cheryl. That looks pretty nice, but I'm not that dumb. Cheryl jigged her line up and down 
and up and down and up and down and up and down and said, I want to catch a fish. She waited some more and up came a $50,000 bill with a line on it. Her father said, $50,000? He grabbed it and got pulled underneath the ice. Grr, said Cheryl. She yelled down the hole, give me back my daddy. The baby fish stuck its head up out of the water and said, hey, we caught him fair and square and you can't have him back. Cheryl got an idea. She put a huge piece of bait on the line and she jigged it up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and said, I've got to catch a daddy fish. All of a sudden, a big fish grabbed the bait and Cheryl pulled him up in. The baby fish stuck its head out of the water and said, give me back my daddy. Well, said Cheryl, I'll give you back your daddy if you give me back my daddy Grr, said the little fish Cheryl threw the daddy fish back into the water and Cheryl's father came flying out of the hole he said Brr, it's gold and started turning into an icicle Cheryl pulled her father to the tent and put wood into the stove till he was warm and dry like a piece of toast then Cheryl said Daddy, why did you grab the money? I thought you were smarter than the fish. I am smarter than a fish, said her dad. And I know that you are smarter than any fish. And I knew you would get me out and I still have the money. Right, said Cheryl. And they went back to town and bought Cheryl her very own snowmobile. The end. Give Me Back My Dad was written while I was on a trip to Rigolette, Labrador with my son, Andrew. While we were there, we went ice fishing with a girl named Cheryl and her father, Roger. Andrew got a new snowsuit and muckluck sort of boots, and I was given a snowsuit and a new parka. They suggested I wear new boots, and I said mine were okay. But it was a mistake. Every time I went through the snow, I got snow in the top of my boots and eventually my socks got wet. I should have taken their advice. Next to their fishing cabin, they put up a Labrador tent. They make it by cutting down two spruce trees, pounding one into snow and then lashing the other across the top to an uncut tree. This makes a pole to hang the tent from. They cut spruce branches and make a thick bedding. Then in goes a portable stove. After fishing, we drove back up to the cabin. We ate and then in went into the tent and told stories and jokes. Everybody told something. I made up the story about Cheryl and Roger. Roger told about the ghost lead that helps people lost on the snow. This was all while sitting and lying on spruce branches while the little stove kept the tent positively tropical. It was wonderful. The End